Hi guys, for sure. First right here, last week's video of trout fishing at Singlewood's Ponds gave me an excellent idea. And that is I'm going to start a new series of videos on trout fishing in Oregon. As the trout season comes up from now all the way until May. Uh, we will be looking at several uh, popular trout uh, fishing ponds and lakes across state and talk about special techniques we would use uh, in these specific locations. Uh, without further ado, let's get into today's uh, trout fishing pond and that is Canby Pond. So Canby Pond is located in Canby Community Park. The park itself is on the east bank of the Molotta River. When you drive down to the road into the park, you will see Molotta River at your right and the pond at your left. The pond is heavily grown uh, with vegetation during the majority of the year. The only time the weed situation is a little better is uh, during late fall, which is right now all the way to early spring. The pond uh, itself is also very shallow. Uh, most of the bank is around one to three feet deep. Uh, you could easily see the bottom, but it gets deeper to four to five feet out there in the middle. Also something to note is a pond is only open to anglers uh, 17 and below and people with disabilities. Uh, the major stockings of a pond are during March to May. Uh, however, there may be also occasional stockings in the fall and winter. With that being said, there could potentially be uh, a few trout left for the winter, uh, but if they're gone, they're gone. Uh, stock trout cannot reproduce, so if an October stocking is fished out, you'll have to wait all the way into March uh, for a st uh, spring stocking. And also something to note, as I mentioned, it's only uh, open to anglers 17 and below. Uh, so if you're a parent and you want to bring your child over there to learn about like uh, basic fishing and all that stuff, that's a great place to start in my opinion. Uh, now let's get into it. gears. Really in Canby you have two seasons in terms of fishing, the weedy season and the wheatless season. The weedy season goes all the way from late spring to early fall. During this period of time, they typically don't stock fish from June to August. Of course, you could fish for other species and I've seen small bats and bluegills swimming there. Uh, but I won't suggest you to fish for them anywhere. They, the fishing there uh, for bass and crappy, uh, Supposedly, I think they say there's crapping wear and bluegills. Uh, they are not that good compared to other uh, ponds and lakes in the state. And even in Willamette River or some places, you could catch more fish uh, than in that pond. The pond uh, the fish in there just don't seem to bite very much. Uh, but um, the trout is definitely pretty good there. Trout fishing in the weedy season is quite limited. Uh, lures and treble hooks are definitely no no in this situation. Uh, you're going to snag the weeds every single cast. And I have had my experience. It's a frustration to like just rip off the weeds every time you cast into there. Uh, Power Bay on Carolina rig uh, is very, very effective in these cases. Uh, and if you don't know what Carolina rig is, I do have a video on stock uh, on trout fishing where you could look at this was one of my earlier videos and uh, it wasn't that good the audio wasn't that good but the techniques are pretty accurate um, now because this is a small pond it's pretty easy to fan cast and uh, figure out where the fish are uh, the trout also has a habit of swimming around the shore in schools so I have also had success in finding big schools of trout just by kind of uh, quietly stalking the fish around the pond just like I'm pretty sure half, at least half of a pond is accessible through uh, just bank access. So you, there is like this tiny part on the uh, opposite bank where you can't get to, but most part you could get to. You just quietly walk about like 10 feet from shore. You can see the fish, but uh, you are also quite a distance away from it. Uh, and you could just uh, find them chilling there, I guess. Uh, and then you could just fish for them with uh, Carolina rigs. And a half ounce or more weight would be recommended if you want, want to throw in there during the weedy season because you could uh, easily cast onto the other side of the pond with that in case the fish are not in anywhere within your reach. Uh, a half ounce or more weights will definitely help and it will also help you rip through all these weeds. Uh, now let's talk about the weed uh, less weedier season and that would be usually from now all the way to uh, early spring there's not much trout left uh, early November we're stocking in October which just passed like last week or two weeks before 
And uh, mid October is probably the last time you could fish for these October trout. And otherwise, uh, trout fishing is very good in the spring from there March to May. And that might be the only time of year I might go out there and fish for trout in that pond. Uh, during this less weedier season, I would uh, suggest you to make the most of finesse fishing uh, with spinners and spoons. Uh, compared to other stock trout ponds in the Portland metropolitan area, they definitely have a good amount of trophies in there. And if you don't know, trophies are typically trout around 14 inches to sometimes even broader size, which is like huge trout that goes up to 10 pounds. Um, I haven't seen them stock a lot of these spruders in there recently, but uh, I know they have there in the past. Uh, troll, uh, so generally suggested uh, weight would be around one fourth ounce, but hey, you could go way over if you want to catch uh, big fish. Like rivers will bite one half ounce or even bigger uh, baits. It just depends on what type of fish you want to catch. Uh, for my suggestion, uh, if you do not want to do catch and release fishing, if you want to fish for eating, uh, I would say a 14 inch trout would make a pretty nice meal and uh, I'm pretty sure the limit is around 5 fish so that's gonna be a pretty good dinner for you. Uh, the pond isn't big and deep so you don't need to go very heavy, uh, cast a bit past the strike zone and uh, start reeling back. That would uh, work very well, I found that worked very well. and. Uh, However, if they don't just buy lures, uh, which it does happen sometimes, uh, power bait and power eggs will never ever fail in these situations. Um, Ultralight combos might be tough to fish during the uh, weedy season because you know ultralight rods are kind of bendy and then uh, it just didn't have. You are just like constantly scared of breaking your rod as you pull them through the weeds. I do. I have fished with an ultra combo there once in a weedy season and that didn't turn out well. But hey, light to medium will definitely uh, be good enough for fishing rod during a weedy season. They are strong enough to pull it out and then you also get a good fight. And then during the last weedy season, you could go to ultra light. But no matter the situation, I don't suggest you to go over medium to get the best of trout fishing. And even if you are fishing for brooders, I would say medium would still be safe. You could go to medium heavy if you like, uh, personal preferences. Um, and finally, like for most of our trout ponds in Oregon, it is very crowded on weekends. Uh, not every weekend, but pretty much the majority of weekends, it is pretty crowded, especially after stocking. It's like everybody knew they stocked and everybody just rushed there. Uh, the only time I haven't seen people rush there was during COVID where they took off a stock trout uh, Stock, stocking schedule and then nobody knew when they stocked uh, so that was the only time I went there and there wasn't as many people as there usually is uh, but if you want to avoid crowds go there before 10 a.m. or go after 5 p.m. you'll pretty much avoid every single person there there might be two or three guys fishing there but hey enough place for you to cast during like a very crowded times it's like literally shoulder to shoulder maybe you could like keep like 10 feet of space between you and the next guy but it's basically everybody around the pond just casting uh, i don't really like that i like to uh fish a little bit uh, alone because i just have more space and uh, i don't feel as pressured um and the fish probably don't feel as pressured as well the fish bite better at uh that time uh which is before 10 a.m. or after 5 p.m. Uh, the, the morning and the evening bites are one of the best during fishing and there won't be many people as I said. Another option is to go during storms and I know a lot of people don't like to get wet and all that stuff but the wind and rain will excite the trout a lot and add, uh, make them bite more but it's personal pre preferences. I'm not going to pressure you to go during like a storm and like be guaranteed you'll catch some trout but uh, from my experience and from my uh, other people I know, rare experience, uh, trout fishing or any fishing in general during a storm is do produce better than fishing at let's say uh, normal times. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you have a suggestion on what pond or lake in Oregon about trout fishing or any fishing in general you want to talk about, want us to talk about, please leave it in the comment section below. We are open to any suggestions. Uh, and fish to freshwater, out.